A new documentary will feature legendary heavy metal drummer and Albuquerque native Randy Castillo. He played with Ozzy Osbourne for years and later Motley Crue before he died of cancer. As Action 7 News Inca Royal Day shows us, the film is about Castillo's life and the most famous musicians talking about Castillo's talent. Randy Castillo went from the West Mesa Mustang drumline to the heavy metal stage in a successful career that spanned over four decades. Now, the documentary, Life, Blood, Rhythm, Randy Castillo, will detail every phase of his exciting life. Randy was uh, the first person I would have got if he wasn't touring around with Ozzy. He played his drums like, you know, you imagine the Apache Indian ancestors of his rode a horse. He is the first rock and roll Apache drummer. Castillo played the drums for Ozzy Osbourne and Motley Crue. KOAT spoke to him when he was in town touring with Motley Crue in 2000. I mean, it's a dream come true. I've always wanted to do what I'm doing. You know, I was dreaming about that when I was in West Mesa High. You know, just like, I want to be a rock star, you know. So, you know, I worked hard at it and, uh, you know, still working hard at it. He's from Albuquerque, and West Mesa High has even named its Performing Arts Center after their famous graduate. He's also one of a handful of Native American musicians featured in an exhibit at the Smithsonian Museum of the American Indian. But he got sick, and his friends and family talk about it in the film. We both literally said at the same time, we said, I don't think we're going to see him again. I, and I, I really believe in prayer, and that's when I lost my faith. In 2002, Castillo was putting together a new band when he died of cancer. He was 51 years old. The film is a tribute to his life, a final performance for a native New Mexican who some say not only was a force of nature as a drummer, but as a human being. Royal Day, KOAT, Action 7 News. The film is narrated by Lita Ford and has been selected to open the Red Nation Film Festival in Beverly Hills November 4th. For a link to the trailer, go to KOAT.com. We're seeing a big drop in drug overdoses in New Mexico, but the fight's not over.